if you guys would like to watch my daily fortnite item shop prediction and sometimes ranking leaks news and when will it return slash comeback videos then make sure you guys click at the link in the description to subscribe to my second channel at firegamer v2 yo what's going on guys welcome back to another video here on the channel firegamer here i hope you're all doing well and in this one i'm going to show you on how to get these multiple modded outfits all at once in gta online after patch 1.55 now I personally play on PlayStation 4, but for me it says 1.54, but the reason that why I want to say 1.55 is because um, for those that play GTA Online on PS5 or the new Xbox One Series X, you know, it says 1.55, that's why, 1.55, so yeah. But in the end, it, all, it works on every platform like the PS4, PS5, the Xbox One Series X, and as well as the Xbox One, so yeah. But I'm not sure if it works on the PC as well. So you guys have to be in a clothing store, you guys have to come over here to the cashier and as well delete all of your saved outfits except the one that you guys want to keep. I mean I just like this one, you know, with the trash vest, with the, you know, Trump pants, which it looks really cool. So I will have to delete the other outfit. F rep, make sure you guys set your spawn location to the last location, that is just optional, it's up to you in the end. And F rep, all you have to do is to go to online, then go down to the swap character because as you guys know that this is going to be the transfer glitch. Since we have to create a uh, you know second character, which it has to be the female skin, I'm gonna say it's a female outfit, and uh, yeah. So for me, it's pretty much gonna be yeah. So it is pretty much the um, female. I'm gonna say female character, and if it is the male, you guys already know. You guys have to switch from the male to the female. If it is already the female, just make sure you guys press the X or the square. Sorry, I meant to say X or A. It just depends what console you guys play on. You just want you know you just want to edit it, and after that all you have to do is to accept the alert. This one, that is very important. Just make sure you guys accept the alert so you guys can you know like you guys can keep the money. And after that, um, you guys have to type a name. Like I said, if it is male, just switch from the male to the female. If it's already the female, you guys already know. Just go down to the save and continue. Then it's gonna ask you to type a name. Just put random stuff you know, and then you guys want to be taking a picture. And after that, it's gonna send you over to the GTA Online session. But first off, you guys have to react over to the, uh, you know, the trailer, like the new uh, K Perico DLCs trailer. So just be patient because you guys cannot skip it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys there. Now once you guys respawn into the GTA Online session, make sure you guys open up the map and have a look if those clothing store signs are visible on the map, which for me they are visible, that means they are open. Because if they are not visible on the map, that means the stores are closed and in order to fix that you guys have to find a new session. So yeah, you guys have to make your way over to the uh, clothing store. So once you guys arrive over to the nearest clothing store, all you have to do is to make sure if your character it is wearing a accessories like the earring, the mask or something. If it is not, then you're good. But if it is, you guys already know to move it by the interaction menu, it styles accessories. So now we are gonna be creating a couple of outfits. And once I create them, uh, I will show you guys on how to make the outfits because that is, imp that is the most important part of the glitch, okay? So yeah, I'm gonna try my best to explain to you guys as good as possible the requirements. I'm gonna be trying my best as well to be slow because a lot of you guys were asking me why you're speaking so fast. So I'm sorry about that, you know. But um, yeah, I hope you guys understand that. And uh, yeah, once I'm done, I will just show you guys the outfits. And of course, I'm gonna be showing to you guys as well the tutorial on how to make those uh, outfits. 
So, our first outfit, it is going to be this one, as you guys can see. And uh, it was easy. As you guys can see, we have the checkered one, two. We have the uh, Tron one, Tron two, blue one, blue two, blue three, armor one, and armor two. So in order to create the first outfit, make your way over to the accessories, go down to the gloves, and you guys have to buy this light wood length armor, which is going to be the number 32. F red, make your way over to the shoes, go down to high heel boots, and you guys want to buy this one, the deluxe midnight combat, which is going to be the number 24 out of 55. F red, make way over to the pants and then you guys have to go over to the jeans go down and buy this one the black crop the number 38 out of 70. F red, all you have to do is to go back to the tops which is pretty much going to be behind you then go all the way down then go just a little bit up and you guys have to go over to the uh, sports top and then go down and buy the gray racer back the number 50 out of 63. F red, come over here to the cashier and save this outfit at the number two spot the uh, checkered one just make sure you guys name those same outfits just like me you know because it is important and now i'm going to show you guys how to get this one so come over here to the tops you guys have to go a little bit down over to the sports jackets and buy this one the sea green puffer jacket which is the number 99 out of 110 f red back out once then go that like go a little bit down which is going to be the uh, Okay, so yeah, you guys have to go up actually. I was like kind of messed up, so I'm sorry about that. But yeah, all you have to do is to keep going down. So you guys have to buy, yeah, bus tiers. So go over to the bus tiers and buy the teal lace bus tier. After that, come over here to the cashier and save this outfit as of the number three spot, number three out of 20, checker two. I'm gonna show you guys down now to get this one, the Tron one, because it's, it is gonna be the Tron, you know, the Tron outfit. So. All you have to do first off is to make your way over to the accessories. Uh, you guys have to go down to the gloves. Then you guys have to buy this one. The white surgical gloves, which is the number 51 out of 62. F red back out and go over to the pants. Then you guys have to, again, like go down, like go all the way down, then go a little bit up now to the utility pants and buy the black battle pants. F red. Um, okay, go over to the tops, go all the way down, then go a little bit up um, to the tank tops, and you guys have to buy this one, the Mocha Torn Short Crop, yeah, then come over here to the uh, cashier and save this outfit by naming it Tron 1 at the number 4 out of 20 spot, and now I'm going to show you guys on how to get this outfit, so first off, again, make your way over to the accessories, then go down to the gloves and buy the light woodland armored the number 32 out of 62 which we already bought it after that go over to the shoes go to boots then go a little bit down and buy this one the most tag boots the uh, number 22 out of 95 after that make your way over to the uh, pants go down to the sports pants and buy the first one the spotted muscle pants this one um just let you guys know that this is gonna cost you over 240k so yeah then go over to the tops go down to the work jackets and then you guys have to buy this one the peach camel close field which is gonna be the number 9 out of 17. after that back out once then go down to the uh top t-shirts and you guys have to buy this one the blue digital t-shirt which is gonna be the number 75 out of 92 after that, go come over here to the cashier and save this outfit as of the number 5 spot, number 5 of 20, by naming it Tron number 2. Now I'm going to show you guys on how to get this one, the easiest one. So all you have to do is to back out once, then go all the way down, then go a little bit up, over to the outfit's scuba, then go all the way down, then go a little bit up, and buy the bolt red scuba. I mean, I know that it is expensive, but if you guys want to know, you know, like if you guys want to have the outfit, then you guys have to buy this one. Now, if you guys want to know on how to make millions of dollars in gta online like legit money without like money glitches then go and check out my video click at the link in the description after that go over to the accessories go down to the gloves then buy the light wool and armor which we already bought you know after that make way over to the uh you know cashier and save this outfit by naming it blue number one that's number six out of 20 spot this one okay 
So uh, yeah. And now I'm gonna show you guys on how to get the blue number two outfit, which is gonna be looking like this. It's pretty simple, which we already have bought the you know gloves, pants, and shoes. So go over to the shoes first, then go down to the high heel boots, then go down and buy the deluxe midnight combat again, which is pretty much gonna be the number 24 out of 55. Yeah, the number 24 out of 55. After that, go over to the pants, then go down to the sports pants and buy the first one, the spotted muscle pants. After that, right behind you, there's gonna be the tops. So all you have to do is to right behind you, there's gonna be the tops, like I said, so go over to the tops, they go all the way down, then go a little bit up and buy, uh, first off, okay, you guys have to buy bikinis, the black bikini which is gonna be the number 27 or 30 and then back out once then go all the way down then go again keep going down at the tactical jackets and buy the khaki tactical blues on the number 79 or 79 by going all the way down after that come over here to the cashier and save this outfit as of the number 7 or 20 spot by naming it blue number 2 that is important okay blue number 2 and now I'm gonna show you guys how to get this one so yeah, we already have the pants and you know, gloves and uh, shoe. So go over to the tops right behind you. Go to go over to the work jackets and buy the peach camel clothes field, which is gonna be number nine spot. The number nine. After that, back out once, then go a little bit down at the tucked t-shirts and buy this one, the blue digital t-shirt. Then come over here to the cashier again and save this outfit as of number eight out twenty spot by naming it blue number three. And now I'm gonna show you guys on how to get the last two outfits, this one, and pretty much the armor, the armor two outfit, this one. So first off, all you have to do is to make your way um, over to the pants, then go all the way down, then go a little bit up at the utility pants and buy the black battle pants. The uh, number 37 out of 38, after that, come over here to the tops right behind you, and then go over to the bikinis, and buy the black bikini all right and yeah now back out once then go like uh, go over to the biker jackets and buy the fitted leader jacket yeah the number 40 out 44 after that all you have to do is to go over to the uh, shoes the first off go over to the accessories now go over to the earrings and buy the B and W deco earrings after that, open up the interaction menu, inventory, show armor, the first time go to barter armor, then show armor, and put it the heavy armor. Yeah, so, so yeah, you guys don't need to go over to the shoes, my bet. After that, come over here to the cashier and save his outfit as of the number 9 out of 20 spot by naming it armor number 1. That's pretty much it. And now I'm going to show you guys on how to get the last outfit, which we already have bought, you know, are the armor, the pants and shoes. So first off, go over to the shoes again. Um, go down to the high heel boots and again buy the deluxe midnight combat the number 24 out of 55 after that go over to the pants again then go down to the sports pants and buy the first one the spotted muscle pants that's pretty much it after that back out and right behind you there's gonna be the tops so go over to the tops then go a little bit down at the sports jackets and then go down to the number 99 and buy the sea green jacket yeah pretty much after that back out once then go over to the bus tiers and buy the white lace bus tier the number 17 out 33 after that make sure you guys open up the interaction menu inventory buy the armor go down to the show armor and put it the heavy armor after that go over to the cashier and save this outfit as of the number 10 out 20 spot by naming it armor number two and that's pretty much it now make sure you guys watch this part very carefully. We have this outfit over here. Just make sure to not you know miss any of his requirements. Jacker two, the Tron one. We have the uh, Tron two, the blue one, blue two, blue three. We also have the armor one, and as well as the armor number two. So yeah, once you guys are done, you guys have to force the game to save, you know. In order to do that, open up the interaction menu and go down to the kill yourself option. Now, once you guys respawn, all you have to do 
is to go over to the online then go down to the creator because as you guys know that in order to do that thing you know you guys have to create a race by putting those checkpoints right so yeah go around go, go to online then go down to the creator so like i said all you have to do is to create a race and then put those checkpoints right put those checkpoints which is going to take like over five minutes i believe five or seven minutes but there's a faster way like instead of you know um putting those checkpoints all you have to do after loading in create a race go over to the tutorial and then accept this alert and you guys are done now you guys can normally go over to the online then go down to the choose character so we can go ahead and delete our female character as of the second character once you guys delete your female character you guys have to go back to this turn mode by pressing the b if you guys play on xbox or the circle button if you guys play on playstation so yeah just uh, be careful just don't try to delete, delete you know uh, your first character just make sure you guys like i'm gonna say move your screen over to your second character just like me so yeah now to press, like just make sure you guys press the X or the square button, it just depends what console you guys play on. Accept the alert and then it's gonna ask you to type the word delete for safety. And after that, boom, it's gone. So once this, you know, once your character will be getting deleted, all you have to do is to go back to the story mode by pressing the circle or the B button. And from the story mode, you guys have to start an invite only session, okay? I repeat, once you guys are into the story mode, from the story mode, you guys have to start an invite only session. I believe that you guys can also start a public session like by pressing at the go option but i recommend you guys to start the invite only session so you know maybe that those you know trier players will try to kill you or troll you so yeah be careful just avoid of doing that And now, once you guys are back to the GTA Online, you guys will realize that you guys have the outfit that you guys wanted to keep from the beginning of the glitch. So make your way over to the nearest clothing store, come over here to the cashier, and as you guys can see, the outfits were merged from our second character to our first character. So all you have to do is to save this outfit as of number 20 spot, and now I'm going to show you guys on how to get the checkable outfit. So back out once go over to the outfits biker suit and buy the black biker suit because this is pretty much going to be the checkerboard outfits um gloves and from there you guys have to make sure that you guys have bought any of these lsd gray or red earth piece and in order to buy it make your way over to any of these ammunition stores and buy it but for most importantly just make sure to not equip it then go to online jobs play jobs rockstar created versus and start the equipment cap now if you guys are the host make sure to set the clothing into the player own if you guys are not the host make sure to tell to the host to uh, set the clothing into the player own and after that make sure you guys start the job and then um you guys have to go down to your own office so yeah i'm just gonna wait until someone will join like just a random player all right so he joined he's just a random player and uh yeah so now all you have to do is to like just wait a couple of seconds. And from there, go down to the old outfits and then go at the right side twice. Just set the old outfits at the checker two. And as you guys can see, we got the outfit. Now ready up. And then as soon as the job starts, you guys have to put any of these earth pieces on your character. In order to do that, open up the interaction menu, go to styles, accessories, and then, you know, just uh, put any of these air pieces on your character. Doesn't matter if it is the, uh, I'm gonna say, gray or red or LST air piece. That doesn't matter at all. 
And then once you guys are done with that, just make sure you guys go on your phone and click the job. Or you guys can also go over to online and creator and from the creator, you guys can start an invite on a session. Because if you guys will quit, you know, like uh, throughout your phone, there might be a chance that you guys might be getting into the bad sport uh, due to, you know, leaving the job before, you know, finishing the job. That's why. And now we're back. And as you guys can see, we have the outfit. Easy as that. So now make way over to the nearest clothing store, go over to the cashier, and uh, save this outfit as of the number 19 out of 20 is pop. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, yeah. Oh, come on. All right, so yeah, I'm just gonna go to the clothing store, like I said, go over to the cashier and save the outfit. And by the way, you guys can also remove the earpiece. I mean, that is just optional, it's up to you in the end. But I'm gonna go ahead and remove the earpiece. And then, like I said, just make sure you guys save the outfit. And you guys can as well delete those uh, two outfits, the checkered one and checkered two outfits that, that you know we saved on our second character. You don't have to, but like in the end, it'll be better. So yeah, I just you know just saved it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and delete those two outfits, the checkered one, and checkered two. And now I'm gonna show you guys on how to get the Tron outfit. So back out once, then go all the way down and go a little bit up at the outfit's deadline, and then you guys have to buy the deadline red. I mean, in the end, you guys can buy any of these deadline outfits, like the pink one, the orange, green, yellow, it's up to you. But if you guys really want to have, you know, my outfit that I'm sure you guys have already seen by this video as a thumbnail, then you guys have to buy this one, the, the deadline red. Then again, start the liquid cop, set the clothing into pair owned, and then uh, you guys have to go down to the owned outfits. And uh, again, just go at the right side twice. And then as soon as the job starts, make sure you guys, you know, um, put any of these air pieces on your character. And after that, make sure you guys quit the job on your phone. Or like I said before, you guys can go to creator. creator. Why am I keep saying creative? I mean, I meant to say creator. And from there, you guys can start an invite only session. So that's pretty much it. It's easy, and I hope that you guys as well, you know, are liking those skins. I'm gonna say outfits. So yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, go down to the own outfits, then go to the right side twice. Just set, you know, just set the uh, own outfits, the Tron 2, the number 2, and then just ready up. And as you guys can see, we got the outfit with the Tron tops, the cop belt, the uh, biker suits, Gloves with the black joggers, which is really cool. And I believe that you guys can also like, you know, put a mask or a parachute or a helmet on. Especially the black bullet troop helmet. So yeah, again, make sure you guys put the earpiece on, then go on your phone and quit the job. And from there, once you guys load in, you know, load back to the GTA online session, go over to the clothing store and save this outfit as of the number, um, I believe 18 spot. Yeah, pretty much. And as you guys can see, we got the outfit. It looks really cool. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And now, after saving the outfit, you guys have to back out once, then go all the way down, then go a little bit up at the biker suits, the outfit biker suit. And then you guys have to buy again the black biker suit or pretty much the blue biker suit. I just, I mean, I recommend you guys to buy the blue biker suit. I mean, of course, if you guys want to have, you know, my outfit that I'm sure you guys have already seen by this video's thumbnail, the invisible top, then yeah. Then again, start the with cop. And then as soon as the job starts, make sure you guys, you know, uh, put the earpiece on, but before putting the earpiece on, um, you guys have to go down at the own outfits, I believe, uh, three times. So yeah, I'm just going to wait here so I can show you guys how to get the outfit. It's pretty simple. Alright. Yeah, go down to the own outfits. So yeah, you guys have to go three times at the right side. Just set the own outfits, the blue tree. And after that, make sure you guys ready up. And as you guys can see, the outfit, it looks really cool. The cap belt, you know. Um, and yeah, it is not actually the joggers, just to let you guys know, like the pants. 
Um, so yeah, better than nothing. We got the invisible torso. Sorry, not invisible torso. The invisible body. Or I'm gonna say top, not body. My bad. With the invisible arms, and as well with the uh, cop belt. And of course, you guys can put a parachute on, or chains, or mask, helmet. It's up to you. So uh, that's pretty much it. But for a checkerboard outfit, you guys cannot put a helmet or uh, mask on, except the rebreaker gear or earpiece. Because if you guys do that, then it will mess up. So that's kind of sucks. All right. Again, as soon as the job starts, in the interaction menu, the styles, accessories, put the earpiece on, then go on your phone and quit the job. And again, go over to the clothing store and save the outfit. And then I'm going to show you guys on how to get the last outfit, which is pretty much going to be the uh, Black Joggers CEO Best Outfit, which is as well one of my favorite uh, outfits in the game. So I'll see you guys there. So in order to get the last outfit, the black trousers with the CEO vest, come over here to this clothing store and then you guys have to open up interaction menu, register as of a secret of CEO and then go down to the hide options, jobs and set the old jobs into custom and as well make sure that all of these jobs are set on show in the end. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So get out from the clothing store, just get out, make sure you guys set your spawn location to the last location and then make sure you guys, like I said, register as of a secret of CEO. And then make sure you guys open up the interaction menu, go to Secrets of CEO, then go to the management style and set the CEO style to the LJFA, which is going to be this one, as you guys can see. And after that, make sure you guys press right on the D-pad on your controller to start the job. Now, go down to the confirm settings, play and accept this alert. I believe that you guys have to be alone. So yeah, just make sure you guys start the job. Now all you have to do is to go down to the confirm, continue, and at the second page, you guys have to wait like over three to seven seconds. And after counting between three to seven, like three to seven seconds, make sure you guys quit the job. And then, once you guys quit the job, and once you guys are back to the GTA Online, you guys should have the outfit that you guys, you know, saved before. So get, get inside of the clothing store, come over here, press right on the pad, and stay AFK until it will kick you out from the tops. So yeah, I just wait a couple of seconds and yeah, we got kicked. Now all you have to do is to retire from the Sekiro Sub CEO and as you guys can see, we still have the outfit after retiring from the Sekiro Sub CEO. After that, make sure you guys come over here to the accessories, go down to gloves and then uh, you guys have to buy any of these gloves. I just want to buy the uh, black um, tactical, something like that, so I'm just going to go down. Yeah, it's pretty much going to be the black woolen gloves. Um, like I said, you guys can buy any gloves that you guys want, it's up to you, but I personally am going to be buying the black woolen gloves. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And then all you have to do is to go to online, jobs, play jobs, Rockstar created, and start the Crooked Cop again. So versus and start the Crooked Cop, and like I said before, um, you guys have to set the clothing into the player owned. If you guys are not the host, make sure to tell the host to set the clothing into the player owned and after that make sure you guys bring a friend or just wait until a random player will be joining into your job just like me since one of like one, none of my friends are currently online now so um if you guys would like to help me for my videos let's say if there's a glitch that requires you to have a friend so if you guys play on ps4 or ps5 and if you guys like let's say would like to help me out to, to record those glitch videos that requires you to have more than one or two friends then you know make sure you guys hit me up on my socials instagram and twitter which both of them will be into my videos description as of my socials i only have instagram and twitter but i'm mostly active on instagram but um yeah like i said okay now go down to the old outfits and then go at the right side twice just make sure you guys set the own outfit, the armor number two, and as you guys can see, we already got the outfit. 
Now, make sure you guys ready up. And like I said before, as soon as the job starts, make sure you guys equip any of these air pieces on your character. Just to let you guys know that if the second player it is your friend, you guys can also go to the nearest clothing store, like right in front of the clothing store, put the piece on, and then go on your phone. So then once you guys are back to the GTK online, you guys will automatically be respawning right in front of the clothing store, you know? But it's all good. I mean, here it is just a random player, so I will have to, you know, make it quick because maybe the random player might be, you know, quitting the job before I quit the job and I may fail, so that's all good. So yeah, interaction menu, a styles, accessories, put their piece on, and then go on your phone and quit the job. Well, like I said before, you guys can go to creator, and from the creator, you guys can start an invite only session. And then once you guys are back to the GTA online session, you guys have to make your way over to the nearest clothing store, go over to the cashier and save this outfit. And uh, yeah, then you guys can delete, you know, the same outfits that we saved on our uh, second character, the female character actually. And then you guys are good to go. Just to let you guys know that you guys can um, put a mask, parachute or gloves or anything that you guys want on all of these, you know, modded outfits except the checkerboard outfit. For a checkerboard outfit, you guys can only put a parachute on, I believe, a parachute, and it's pretty much an earth piece or um, the rebreather gear. And now you guys can also remove the earth piece. That doesn't matter at all, it is just optional. So yeah, come over here to the cashier and save this outfit as of the number 16 out of 20 spot, and then you guys are good to go. So till here, if you guys have any questions, make sure you guys comment down below and I'll try my best to help you guys out. And if you guys found this video helpful, make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe, and turn the post notifications on if you guys want to see more of those GTA Online clothing glitch and sometimes guys videos. For the guys videos I'm talking about, of me, like videos of me showing to you guys, for example, on how to win the new Palom vehicle or a video of me showing to you guys that what are the weekly discounts, um, you know, the jobs or the races that are set on double or triple RP money the new time trial, the pattern vehicle, and as well as the vehicles or cars that are set on sale slash discount. That's pretty much it, okay? And as you guys can see, I'm also being able to put a helmet, mask, and stuff like that. So yeah, you guys can put a mask or helmet on any character, I'm gonna say a skin or outfit that you guys want, except the checkerboard outfit. So thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.